risks to everything you do you know there's a risk to everything i don't understand why it's such a big issue for most people to understand that there's risk to this like we're taking something that was spent years to design and we're making changes to it okay so we're back inside our steam deck and we took up the heat shield and we took off all the thermal pads on the heat shield we took some measurements we got all our heights for our thermal pads right here now the plan is we're not going to actively cool this, but we can make this cooling system that it does have better. We can make it better. This is very thin aluminum and it doesn't transfer heat very well and doesn't soak up heat very well. So the goal is to take a copper plate, place it right on top here. It's going to be touching the APU. It's going to be touching all of this stuff, including this heat pipe here. And the goal is to transfer as much heat from this lower portion to the heat pipe. Do that by cutting out this solid piece of copper. Um, I think it's about one millimeter thick of copper. And basically, plunk, hopefully problem solved. Even though I think the problem was fine to begin with. But we're just going to make it better because... You know, why not? So I got the dimensions cut out for this. Um, and we're just going to cut it and um, plop it in. We're just going to compression fit this thing too. So I'm not even too worried about it. So technically, we could just put a cut a copper plate. Put it on top of this. But it wouldn't really work well. So there's this JSOX. I think it's called JSOX back plate. Where there's a copper plate in the back of this thing right here which helps the thought of it is to help the heat but the only problem with that is it's yes this thing it'll, the back plate will get hotter but how are you going to dissipate that heat like where's it going to go it's only going to soak up more heat which initially would be great but once it hits heat soak it's just going to just sit there and just get hotter and hotter until it hits uh, equilibrium with the internal guts so you got to get rid of that heat but if you're just adding more metal to this it's not really going to help, but what will help is an, a way to actively cool that metal. So we already have an active cooler here, so we could easily tap into this because we know that this thing is running way cooler because of the fan mod. So we need to get as much heat from here to here, and we're going to do that with our copper, copper plate. Question is, is how big do we want this copper plate to be? Do we want it to... Obviously, we need to cover up this heat pipe, go over this APU, cover up the VRMs. The question is for me, is do I want to bring it all the way down to our SSD and our controller down here? And I don't know if I want to do that because I'm not too worried about these two. Because on our testings, they only went up um, very minimal, maybe 10 degrees. So the question is, if we can run the MOSFETs and VRM cooler, in turn, these two will be cooler. They'll all still be attached to the same heat shield. Quite it, the, My main concern, this thing is, okay, so here's the biggest problem right here, and I'll tell you. If this thing is five millimeters high, this thing's already making contact with a heat shield. Actually, let me see something real quick. How tall is this thermal pad right here? By the way, guys, if you like doing stuff like this, you need a counter. So it's about one millimeter. So one, that's not one millimeter. Is this one millimeter? There's no way this is one millimeter. It is one millimeter. What the hell is this? It's two millimeters. Huh. Interesting. Sorry. I was out of focus. This is one millimeter high. This is two. Oh, this is two because oh, I forgot it dips down. Okay, that makes sense. Um, this thing is basically the same height as the top of this. So we're going to have some fitting issues with our copper plate. So, yeah, that's the problem is the fitting. This thing is runs high. Five millimeters at its highest point. It's almost like they already put a 
Well, no, Canada doesn't count because we have that pad and uh, really hard to get a accurate. It's as good as it's going to get right here. 5.5 according to this. So let's just call it five. Damn, why is this thing so high up? If this wasn't as high up, it, this would be a, a cakewalk. But we're just going to compression fit it anyway. So we're just going to cut a solid piece that fits here. The only real issue we have is this hole for a screw. Um, we're just going to have to cut the piece out and then cut a drill a hole into the copper plate so we can screw this back plate back in. But let's, let's just give it a shot. Worst thing to happen is we break this thing. But like I said, we started this video. I'm okay with breaking it. I don't want to break it. But if I do, I do. But I do want to figure out how to get this thing running better. That's the whole point. Making this thing run better. I think I've spent more time tearing this thing apart and build, rebuilding it than I have playing it, playing it. Okay, let's put this somewhere safe. All right, we got our measurement. This is actually 100 by 50 millimeters and this thing is a millimeter thick honestly i think it's thicker i don't know why my caliper whatever we're gonna cut it first um and then we do gotta cut off about 10 millimeters off this thing just for it to fit but there we go i'm gonna get the dremel out i'm gonna get cutting i'm so glad i cut this thing outside because copper is super soft and man it gets everywhere so we got a copper plate but we still need to drill a hole for this bad boy so we marked it and grab our drill let's get to it all right here we are got a little copper plate it's gonna go right on top right through here um it's gonna sit just like this literally um and i lightweight think yeah just like that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this thing together. Okay, so this is essentially how it's going to sit. Um, but we got to make sure that everything can make contact with this copper plate. So that's why we got the measurements for all of these thermal pads, because we're basically going to transfer it over to here. I'm probably just going to end up using the same thermal pads. Yes, it's going to be a millimeter thicker. Um, but I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue in my honest, in all honesty. I think, if anything, maybe take a pad off each one of these because this is a high, very high spot. But yeah, this is it. This is like, this is the fix that I think will take this to the next level. And it's going to slightly touch our uh, SSD which is exactly what we want because we need to pull as much heat off as we can off this. But we're going to go ahead and um, transfer the thermal pads onto here now. Actually, we're not. We're actually going to just put them on where they need to go and then we're going to put this on top. <laughs> Compression fit, let's go! Okay, here we go. So we have our thermal pads where they're supposed to be. Actually, not really going to change anything. I think visually, I do, I do think I need to take off uh at least one layer of these thermal pads. Oh man. They are sticky. This is gonna be a bitch. All right, so we took off a layer of thermal pads on there. And uh, we're just gonna put this plate on top. Gonna to do this thing one-handed. This plate, by the way, is copper. So if it touches anything conductive, we're fucked. You know what I mean? Like if it slides, touches something in a circuit board. So before I put it in, I'm just gonna make sure that there are no debris. Oh, look, see. It'll so we have took some finagling. Um, it doesn't seat perfectly. You can see a gap there clearly because it's a copper plate. It's, I think it's two millimeters. I forgot to measure it again, but it, it's got to be bigger than a millimeter, but we got good contact on everything. We even uh, have a little bit of contact in SSD. Um, it's all closed up and let's just see if it powers on still. Did we break anything? And we hear it, but all right, 
So I'm just gonna prop this up here. I'm gonna clean up the desk a little bit. So we're testing. Um, so we're running right now with the copper plate right in there, touching everything. And we're gonna stress test this thing, just like we did earlier, and see if we made any difference. So one thing real quick, this thing is heavier. It's a lot heavier now. Wow, it's heavier. I can feel the weight. <laughs> All right, so. I'm gonna load up the Witcher 3. I just need a better, um, let's go overhead. Cool. All right, so we have the copper plate is in place. Got the game loading. So we still, we're, we're modded because we have our open grill. Continue. We got our sheet of our temperatures. And then um, we're just gonna allow this thing to heat up. So I'm gonna cut real quick and then we're gonna go into a time lapse where we're just gonna watch this thing heat up. Sorry, I had to cut the video real quick because we were in like cinematic view. I should adjust this camera. I need to fix that thing. Oh my god! So I haven't not seen twenty eight frames in this in this screen. So we're clearly running better. Like I think the best with unmodded, I think it was twenty five, and then twenty six on the modded version. But 28, so two extra frames. It's pretty freaking good. All right, so we're around that 12 minute mark. I don't think it's gonna get any hotter than it is. The room's definitely gonna get hotter though. So let's take down these numbers. So we got 68 on the GPU. 69 on the CPU. I think I saw it hit 70. Oh wait a sec. All right, we'll take it down 69. Wow, they're in equilibrium. If you look at the paper here, they were never in equilibrium. Like the closest right here was the 77, 78. Actually, no. Wow, that's so funny how modded versus unmodded, there's such a big difference between the CPU and GPU, but oh, there we did, we, hit, we picked at 70. So we'll take it down at 70, so. I got an eraser. I remember I got an eraser. Seventy. Okay, cool. So let's flip it around, and we'll do the thermals on the opposite side first. Let's get the screen thermal. So we went over here, forty-three C. So screen. Where's the screen? Oh, so the screen is warmer for sure. It's warmer. Yeah, definitely warmer. This is the real question. Is the back plate any warmer? It might be actually hotter because it's transferring so much more heat. And I wish we did the test this way. I don't know why I was thinking. Oh, we're still in shot. Okay, we're still in shot. So let's go with the... Uh, what's the first one? Oh, so the fan was 3,200 RPMs, right? Um, Currently 3,400 RPMs. Temperatures are still the same. So the fan speed's slightly slower. And remember, this is modded. And then we'll do it unmodded. So SSD, whoo, it is a hot boy. But that's because, remember, there's a copper plate on this thing now. Wait, no, it's just, we're going for a controller spot. We, I think this is what we dubbed the controller, where the controller is at. In this area so we're gonna go 45 wow that's hot ssd um 
that says these right here, but I kind of want to go where the copper is. Where's the hot spot? 45. That's closer to the... To the I think the MOSFETs are actually a little lower. 45C. 47. No, but the, I know the SSDs down here. So, I uh, like 42. So, definitely everything's a lot warmer on surface. Remember, this. if this is how hot it is, this is within margin because the cap for the the controller and i don't know the ssd but i know for sure the controller is a hundred degrees centigrade that's how hot this thing can get so for it being 45 is not a bad thing it just means there's more heat soak in there meaning every component in here is heating everything else up so it would make sense so vrms this is going to be a fun one okay i'm looking i know it's here somewhere and we're just going to find the hottest spot 51 52 53 see if we can get 53 again um yeah okay 53 so it's the same okay apu which is we know is right here 44 definitely warmer 43 44 44 44. Remember, the room's hotter, too. Okay, and this is the one... Oops, that's the wrong one. This is what I really care about, is this heat pipe. Is this hotter? I hope it is. I want this heat pipe to be hotter. I want it to be hotter. Because that means we're moving a lot more heat. So 45, 40... Forty-five, so let's call it forty-five. So it is hotter, which is a good thing. And the reason why this is a good thing for this hot, this heat pipe right here to be hotter, because we know it's transferring more heat out of the system. So overall, I'm very happy. Actually, this is not this controller. The controller is actually closer to down here. That's this one is another um this one out here. This is um this is a what you call it. Right here, this is another uh, VRM. Alright, so altogether, you know, this system feels cooler to me as well. I know this room is pretty warm, but the Overall heat for the system is a lot cooler. But I'm going to go ahead and just let this thing run for a while. Why are we looking that way? We should be looking this way. I'm trying to demand the game. 29 frames. Wow, that's crazy. So. Let's go ahead and we'll sit down because I don't want to stand up anymore. And we'll um, talk about what our findings okay. are. Okay. That's a lot. A lot of information. But in closing, in closing, overall system is just running cooler. Fan speeds are down by a thousand RPMs when it was modded, and it's down by 1200 or 1300 RPMs when unmodded. So, altogether, fan speeds down. Um, unmodded, it is literally the gpu is nine degrees cooler the cpu is eight degrees cooler from the copper to the unmodded and from the modded to the copper the modded actually was cooler by 65 degree uh, by three degrees on the gpu and then um the cpu was the same between the modded and then the modded with the copper so all in all the copper has dropped down temps quite a bit and drop down to fan speeds it's has it done it to the point where i think it's worth doing i don't know yet i do not know yet oh shit just want to get this thing going into a scene that is demanding wow that sky looks beautiful in this game i will tell you what we the frames are better <laughs> it's better the frames are a lot better now if anything so i think it was 25 for the 
unmodded, and then uh, 26 for the modded, and 28 for the copper and modded. So technically, we should probably do a video of the unmodded with the copper plate, um, which wouldn't be too hard. I just don't want to do it. I already know it's not going to make that much of a difference. I, I think it's going to be pretty much the same mainly because the heat soak that's the main problem it's just heat soak it's just once you get enough heat into a system then it's just going to stay there um and also keep in mind that the room is four degrees warmer than it was when we first initially did these tests so if you took the delta minus four celsius we're actually running a lot cooler so our copper uh with the copper modded we're actually running 64 versus 65 um, and our CPU is running 66 versus 70, and this is copper versus unmodded. Uh, and so everything should be warmer in a warmer room. You know, you're at the colder the room, the cooler it's going to be. And we're still at 3,400 RPMs. The CPU right now is at 68 degrees. Um, so this is all within margin between the modded and the copper. Uh, but overall, the room is hotter, so obviously like, this thing would should be running hotter because of that. Um, let's talk about the SSD and the VRM. So the heat gradually got hotter. And you know what? That makes a lot of sense to me. Like, when you tie in two systems, the heat-producing systems, they're going to find an equilibrium. They're going to find um, a point where they're all going to be the same, te uh, same temperature a certain to a certain degree. So it makes sense why by adding the originally adding the thermal pads to the aluminum aluminum shield would cause all the components to get hot also because we're not actively cooling them anymore they're going to they're going to gain more heat as well so what we know from the uh, modded versus unmodded right the overall shell and the unmodded version overall shell was considerably cooler it was cooler to the touch it was cooler from our, our thermal gun and as we modded it it got warmer and then we added the copper it got warmer two caveats to that we when we modded it we took away all of the active cooling meaning we took away all the fan the the air from the fan and then when we added the copper plate, we we synced all the heats together. So now all the hotter components are gonna naturally warm up everything. Um. So there are caveats this this mod. Um. So it makes sense that when everything is even more interconnected, it's gonna heat everything up. So now the MOSFETs are gonna heat up the APU more the SSD, the VRM. So is it is it a good thing to tie them all together? Probably not. It's probably best to have them all in independent systems, but that's going to take time. You got to cut them all out. And I actually did end up ordering a, a couple of um, small um, heat sinks. But honestly, I, 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 think, I think at this point, I think this is as good as it's going to get. You know, obviously longevity, we'll see if it lasts longer. Is the SSD that much hotter? Um, if we did, um, little thermal, thermal tests, if someone has these little thermal, um, um, pads and, uh, you know, measuring, I think I'm going to keep the copper in mainly because I'm too lazy to pull it out. It is heavier, but I don't, yeah, I can deadlift 475. I'm not worried about, well, I can't deadlift. So that was a while ago, man. I can, I can pull 315 cold. Let's just say that I can pull 315 pounds off the cold. I'm not worried about this. <laughs> down is like should you do this mod i think overall if you don't mind breaking your steam deck go for it like i think there's risks to everything you do you know there's a risk to everything i don't understand why it's such a big issue for most people to understand that there's risks to this like we're taking something that was spent years to design and we're making changes to it i do know that valve has made con some consensus Consensions. I always can. Uh, I forget the word. There's a word for it, but to keep costs down, so we don't have us, the consumer, don't have to pay for it. 
they had to cut corners. They did not cut corners on the thermal pad. They did not cut corners on the thermal face from what I've, I've heard and read. But there was certain aspects to how to cool the device that they had to sacrifice. They had to sacrifice the fan hole placement for ventilation, knowing very well that it would heat up the whole system. They had to use an aluminum heat shield, a very thin one, because probably weight and cost, because copper is a lot more expensive than aluminum. That one sheet I have copper I had right there was $15. Um, it's, and then in the little amount that we did use is probably another... Um, it's probably about three or four dollars and then obviously if you get it wholesale you probably get a little bit cheaper and you get it from a manufacturer it's probably cheaper but you got to remember everything they add to this thing they're gonna add weight they're gonna add costs so they're trying to keep costs as low as they can they're probably losing money on these things already and can you imagine adding more money to a product you're already losing on like that's not good business and you gotta remember as much as we love valve it's still a business and they gotta make the best product they can possible with the most limited cost and then that's how businesses work you know um that's how they stay open you know if you're if your cost is higher than what you're making you're gonna go out of business you're just gonna go out of business so i don't know where i got into this rant here uh this video is gonna be like 45 minutes long so one more time we're gonna do closing arguments um should you do this mod i think if you care about overall temps and you don't mind potentially breaking your um, Steam Deck, go for it, man. At least, at the very least, I would say the the fan mod with the thermal pads. I think you're gonna get a lot better, a, a cool, amazing results out of that. I think you're gonna get a lot of amazing results. I don't think the negative effect is gonna be that great because we're able to just transfer heat around. That's how these systems work. It's about transferring heat. Um, if we look at a uh, PC, for example, let me see if it's in a shot. This is my PC. You have VRMs over there. They all have heat sinks. And a lot of this VRM stuff is all passively cooled. Um, this system is a water-cooled system. It's custom water loop. And if you're curious what's in there, I'll do a video about it, but Basically, a lot of these systems are just passively cooled with just air running through them. They're not really tied to the main system. And the VRM should probably not be tied to the main system only because they get really, really hot and they overall just will heat up every component around them. But if your cooling solution is good enough to handle... Oh, camera zoom in. Is it good enough to handle the heat soak then you're going to be fine. Like if the, system, the overall system can handle it, all the heat, you're going to be okay. That, from my understanding. And I've tinkered with PCs for quite some time now. And I also did a lot of GPU mining. It was, it was fun. And it's all about that. How much heat can your system absorb and then dissipate? Like how, how well can you do that? And can you do it efficiently? Obviously, tying everything together is not something you want to do because there's certain hotter components than others. But if you increase the ability to dissipate that thermal heat a lot better, i.e. cutting a damn hole in the back of your fan, it's not that big of a risk, in my opinion, to tie the whole system together. And this thing's been running for like 20 minutes now. And this feels cooler to the touch to me than it ever, ever has um with the copper plate i'm definitely not going to take this copper plate off 100 percent, because that because i'm fucking lazy and it's working fucking amazingly um what was i saying so the thermal the thermal the thermal capacity uh the thermal capacity to dissipate the heat is a lot higher because of the fan mod a lot higher so if you were to put a copper plate in here without doing this fan mod this system would run super fucking hot i mean it would get really 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 hot this back plate would heat up because you just tied everything together even more so i had an outro and for whatever reason the camera cut out and so i just want to say do this mod at your own risk um i'm more than willing to lose my steam deck and buy a new one don't tell my wife um but yeah, I, I think it's a good mod. I think that um I think there are inherent risks to it that I have yet to find out. Maybe it'll break in uh six months, maybe it'll break in a week, maybe it'll break in a year, maybe it'll not break. I don't know yet because I haven't found out yet. So I'm open to the to to it 
potentially going bad. I don't want it to go bad. Not by any means do I want it to go bad. But if it goes bad, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, do the mod, don't do the mod. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And once again, my name is Nas, a.k.a. DIY Poppy. I'll catch you guys on the next one.